Okay, I'm back. And we just, the first video talked about just the general seven different things you have to remember, the tenants they're called. Um, so the first one was confidentiality. And I'll just read it. It says the tenant is interpreters will adhere to standards of confidential communication. Okay, 1.1 means that you will only share information as needed with another person. That person as needed would might be your supervisor, might be a team, someone like that. Okay, so 1.1, two people, you're only gonna, you're only gonna tell one other person as needed um, confidential information. Okay, 1.2, this I don't really have a good sign, but like shredding all your documents. It says manage data, invoices, records, um, and other situational information in a manner consistent with consumer confidentiality. So meaning like locking files, shredding papers. So two, it's not really a great sign, but that helps me remember. 1.3, if I have to tell a third person, then I need to um, inform the consumer that the federal government is requiring me to do that, the state is requiring me to do that. So if I'm mandated to disclose any confidential information, like a third person, I need to let the consumer know. So that is how I'm remembering um, one, the confidentiality, 1.1. I'm only gonna share information as needed with my one other person, either a supervisor or a team. I mean, you know, logically, it could be more than one person, but that's how I'm remembering that, 1.1. 1.2 is I'm gonna shred any documents. I'm gonna keep things locked up in file. I'm gonna write things in my planner and code. I'm gonna keep any information regarding my um, assignments confidential. Three is if I have to tell a third party, it's because I'm being state or federal government is mandating me to disclose it to someone else and I have to let the consumer know. Okay, so far we're doing good. We've got all the seven memorized and the first tenant with the three that go along with it. Okay, I'm excited. We'll see you later.